Hi, my name is Vanessa and this is Megan and we are museum educators here at the Tacoma Art Museum. Thank you for joining us today for TAM at Home. Today we're going to be taking a walk out into nature to take pictures of our surroundings. Uh, we're going to use these pictures to make a watercolor painting with markers. Um, today's project is inspired by Barbara Bolt's Galliano Island painting. Bolt said, I paint landscapes because I love the place. She says the light, the mood, the moment, it's that simple. The artist works from photos she takes on location, completing her many layered paintings in studio. Bolt is a realist painter, particularly interested in the abstraction to be found in natural forms. Come rain or shine, it's good to go outside to be inspired by nature. On a walk, take some photos of the sky and scenery around it. You can use these reference photos for your drawings. Get paper, washable markers, paintbrush, and a cup of water. If you like, you can hold the paper down with painter's tape. Start with drawing the background and move forward with each layered section. When finished, dip the paintbrush in water and spread over the markers to blur the colors. After the water has dried, you can go back and put in a few details. What do you love about the place you're drawing? Is it near your home? How does it make you feel? Through hardships, some cultures are forced from their homelands, but rise to create a better life for themselves. Bolt uses nature to better understand herself and to visually express her life experiences, both joyful and traumatic. The Galeana Island painting is actually the homeland of the Penalcut tribe who have a deep connection to the land and its resources. The tribe said, the cyclical nature of our land, our water, and our resources affected us as we affected them. The land you hike on, live on, is the ancestral homeland of one of the many tribes in Washington. What are some of the Native American tribes that reside near your landscape? 